Forget what you know about surf casting. We're not soaking clams while sitting on our ass. This is striped bass fishing. Montauk style. I'm Ken Baldwin. I'm a fishing guy, and I've made a living chasing big fish. I've traveled the world, fished some of the most famous waters, and I've learned some of their best kept secrets. Now, I want to take you on a journey. Montauk, Long Island, a small town about two hours outside of Manhattan by train that has the reputation of being a drinking town with a fishing problem. It also has the reputation as being the mecca of striped bass fishing. Fishermen from around the world will make the pilgrimage here just for the chance at a monster bass, or what striper fishermen call a cow. It can be like fishing a gauntlet at times. It's not my idea of fun. I've been coming here for 10 years, and I've learned of another Montauk, a hidden Montauk. You won't find it in the fishing magazines or tourist guides. It's not a rumor, let me put it down. You will find it amongst the conversations and the stories of the locals. If you're out chasing stripers, realistically, you're not thinking about doing anything else. You're looking for that 6 a.m., nothing showing in the water, wind spray hitting you in the face. You're, you're battling the elements at the same time. The crappier the weather, the better the fishing is a lot of times. Those fish are smart and they're big. And that's why it's just, you can't get enough. All of a sudden you get that tip and you set the hook and your drag just starts screaming. I mean, you're, you're peeling line off like it's, like it's going out of style. It's, and it's like a drug. Always, take away. There's always the monster, monster. I'm sure God's trying to teach me humility. I mean, I, I've never, I've never lost so many big fish in my life. There's a world record strike bass out there. It could be 75, 80, 85 pounds. And at any given time, you could be the lucky guy to get that fish. <laughs> uh, time to meet Ken, let's go fishing. Gary Stevens, uh, he's pretty well known in Montauk. They call him the Toad. Hey Toad. Ken, how are you? Pleasure to meet you. Let's do this. The Toad has caught eight stripers over 40 pounds and two over 50. He marches to a different beat, but he definitely knows his stuff. That's how you tell if you got a cracked tip. Nope, if it was, it would cut it right away. My first morning, he says he can get me into fish right away. You know what that was? Bird. The bird. Hey. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, you better stop. He's getting it about a good 25 yards further than me. And it's in that 25 yards where he's picking up fish. I can't believe it, man. It's starting to piss me off now. Got him. Jeez. Came off. Got no hook. I got no hook. No hook, go grab it up. Look at this. This is why I'm not catching anything. Toad gives me a Hopkins spoon with no hook. I would never sabotage anybody's lure unless it was my competition. Montauk style. Toad sets me up with a Hopkins with no hook. Sometimes when this type of time of the morning comes, it ends, but it's overcast. I'm getting some distance. Good enough to catch fish. The birds are our friend. They tell us what to do. Look at breaking. Look at them breaking the water. Go, go, go. Wait, wait, wait. Straight away. Oh, straight yeah, out. Yeah, straight yeah. out. Get a trip right into it. Yep. Okay. That's my plan. Down here. Fish down, down here. Big fish hook set. Happens. It's all part of fishing. Got him. Got him. Yeah, got him, got him, got him. Baby. That's what I'm talking. Woo! The first one this year. There you go. All right, so it's not a cow. Not even a calf. Toad! 
Thank you. You're very welcome. It's more like what the fishermen around here call a rat, but it's a start. I would have caught a lot more if you would have gave me a spoon with oh, a hook on it. Yeah, if you didn't hook that big fish and lose it, it'd be a plug right Welcome on. to Montauk. Hey, Ken. We don't call them newbies here, we call them Googans. You are not doing Montauk right if you're not eating the seafood. I'm at the Clam Bar. It's a local seafood shack on Route 27, just six miles west of Montauk. I'm meeting with Alberto Nee and Paul Melnick. They promised me an afternoon of great food and oh, local man, beer, oh, and a quick right. education on the craziness like of striped terrible. bass fishing. Oh yeah, it's drugs. I mean, it gets in your blood and that's it. That's what striped bass fishing is all about, isn't it? Um, all right, so what's a Guggen? A Guggen is a sorry kind of guy who has no control, has no idea how to fish. And so it's a beginner? No, it's, it's a Guggen. It's not a beginner. It is There's, a beginner. It's a Guggen. No, it You've all were Guggens at one time. No, Absolutely. Not you were not? You were never a Guggen. Oh my goodness. No. I bet you you were a bigger Guggen than anybody. You're, you're Just look at him. Is. He looks like a right? Guggen. That's yeah. funny. You know what? I Googled, I Googled Montauk sharks. And I get, <laughs> I, I get uh, the biggest great white <clears throat> shark fishery on the East Coast. Absolutely. And you're going skishing, of course. Skishing? Shore fishing that involves wearing a wetsuit and swimming out from shore with rod and reel to catch a fish and can be dangerous. So why do you call it skishing? Well, I was going to call it swim fishing, but somehow swishing didn't seem very good. <laughs> I don't know. It might fit you. Swishing? <laughs> oh, it does. Uh, I'm still having problems with this. We're, we're going out in a wetsuit, swimming in the ocean, right. in a rip current, right. where fish are blitzing smaller fish, chunking them up and chewing them in blood and guts, <laughs> yeah. in, in a place that's considered the great white shark fishery of these coasts. And we're throwing live eels, or we're, we're out there with our, with the, in black wetsuits with fins hanging down, kind of looking like seals. There's nothing to be scared of. There's nothing out there that's going to eat you. There's only sharks around. There's nothing that's to all. be scared of. Are you serious? Yeah. That, that, that's wrong on a lot of levels, I gotta tell you. Well, there's, it is, it is. No, nothing, there's nothing you can say. It's just wrong on a lot of levels. It's a man thing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's a man thing. And this is gonna get me a big fish. Hopefully. Perfect. Mr. Baldwin, this is your assignment. If you should choose to accept it, take these eels and put them in these bags. You might want to start with the bucket. The glamour of fishing. Do these things bite? Oh man. Got to do this. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Got him, got him. That's nasty. That's just nasty. Hey! Got him. Dangerous water, great white sharks, bluefish chomping on my toes. This would be funny if it wasn't serious. What's today's date? There's no better way in the world to fish, my friend. It's like a Sunday walk on a spring day. Tell it. Why there's so much fog around it, right? And no, nowhere else. Right. If you look, there's nowhere else is fog. It's just around the lighthouse. You know why? No. Because it has that fog horn that's calling it in. Got 
Got him, got him. Oh, Gotta hit Paul. Serious. Good. Serious. Good. Yes, it's cold. Yes, I was a little apprehensive. And no, I'm not so sure Paul knew what the heck he was doing. But what's living without a little risk? <laughs> I think I wiped it out. And the truth is, this is just flat out fun. But still, no cow. We got beer, Rick. Guys, we got beer over here. Where'd you get that on? A little bulk tail. Good for you, man. They definitely don't play as easy as salmon. I'm a salmon guy, not a striped bass guy. What are you doing, chef? I'm trying to play a striped bass. Trying? Trying. Oh. I'm trying. They don't play like salmon. Sure salmon just like butter. I can do a salmon, boom, boom. Yeah, but you once you cut it, you're supposed to scale from the inside. Can't scale on the outside. I've been playing salmon for 20 years. Yeah, but this ain't a salmon. That's what I just said. I know. No, you said. That's what I just said. said. It's I like said they trigger. don't play like the salmon. I know. And then you said, no, they do. They do. If you cut them, you cut your Am I lying? No, I you got it on tape? Am I lying? All right, look. No, no, no. I want to watch the chef. I might learn something from this guy. Everybody's a quarterback. I'm gonna... It's called slap your mama. Okay. My mama would slap me right back. I'll slap your mama. <laughs> slap you right back. New Orleans. Yeah, I'm Gary, sure. you didn't bring your trumpet. You're just gonna learn, this is what you learn. When you're fishing with a newbie, give him a spoon without a hook on it. And then he'll all fish you. Hey, Ken, we don't call them newbies here, we call them Googans. Yeah, there ain't no newbies. Yeah. Hey, you caught a fish. <laughs> I love it. That's pretty nice, funny. Ken. That's pretty funny. Yeah, That's fish? your biggest fish of the day. All right, too big. Yeah, funny. I, I, I have one recipe. <laughs> this is it. You, you give me any fish, you give me any fish, I put it in aluminum foil, I wrap it up, throw it on the fire. I'm a one-trick pony. Well, that's the, way, the best way to cook it. Right? That's the best one-trick one pony. Yep. Oh, oh, man. Look at that. Oh, does that look freaking nice? It's perfect. Woo! Holy shit. I'm supposed to say this is good, but it really is good. It's good, right? Yeah. No, it's good. That is good. Good, right? Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can we get this out? Uh, uh, yeah, thank you. 
so much. <laughs> when you got a big fish and he starts throwing your ass No, around. when I'm out skishing, I'm not worried about the fish that I hook into. I'm worried about any fish that might hook into me. If I feel something bump my leg, if I see a fin cutting through the water. Well, put it this way. When you're out there and you do scale that, Alberto is pretty confident he's going to get me into some big fish. And I'm pretty confident in Alberto. He seems to really, really, really know what he's talking about. Oh, look, see look, that? Look. look at that. That's what they call rain bait, right? No, that's what they call candy. <laughs> <laughs> you know that thing I said earlier about Montauk style? Forget about it. How about we just call it bordering on the edge of insanity style? I just want to catch a big fish, though. That's, that's what I want to do. Go catch a big fish. So tomorrow. fish in the nor'easter, on the that's point, exactly what you want to do. throw a bucktail, yeah. throw a white bucktail, and just swim it back. Without right into the face of the wind.
Mata!